Joan Sparks from Flute Pro Shop here in sunny Delaware in the middle of January. Now, we don't want to give you the wrong impression. This is the first sunny day we've had in six days, so um, don't get all excited about the sun. Anyway, I'm here today with Rosona by Burkhart Flutes, and I'm really anxious to show these to you because we sell a lot of them here at Flute Pro Shop. Um, the Rosonas are flutes that have handmade head joints and handcrafted mechanism, body, and foot. Um, they all have drawn tone holes. They all, as I said, have a hand-cut head joint, pointed tone arms, uh, silver-plated keys, gold springs, and the scale is at A442. There are a number of options you can get with the Rizonas. You can have inline or offset G. You can have a B or a C foot, and you can have open or closed holes. Here on the table I have three to play for you today. This is a Rizona 200, a Rizona 300 with a 14 karat lip plate, and a Rizona 300 with a 9 karat lip plate. Um, before I play each flute for you, I'll tell you about its specific features. Um, and I'm going to be playing three excerpts for you. The first one is the opening statement from the Lowell Lieberman Sonata for Flute and Piano. I chose that because it's very transparent, very soft, and right in the break register with wide leaps to show the versatility. The second one I'm going to play is Jade by Ferru. I chose this one because it's in the low register and again a lot of dynamic contrasts. And finally, uh, Danza de la Hachas from the Rodrigo Fantasia para un Entel Ombre. And I chose the Hutchess because it's very accented, it's very angular, and we get a good um, sampling of the top register in this one. So here's the Rizona 200 flute. All the features you expect with, um, with uh, Rizona by Burkhardt. So sterling silver, handmade head joint, handcrafted body and foot, um, this particular one has an offset G. Um, there are gold springs on this flute, and um, you can tell the mechanism is very smooth and lovely. So, here's the Lola Lieberman. Rizona 300. This flute that I'm about to play has a 14 karat gold riser. And the 300s are 0.018 tubing. The 200 I just played is 0.016. Um, it's got a 14 karat riser, as I said, and um, it's, a, it's a heavier, a little bit more um, substantial flute, I would say.
think right away you can hear that it has a lot more resistance to it. Here's Jake. Thanks for coming by today.